it was just name brands one after another after another down every aisle i felt like i was grocery shopping in a regular grocery store at the dt this week Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share with you guys another Dollar Tree haul. And you guys, I have to say, it has been really slow at the DT. I thought it was just me, but everybody else is kind of saying it. There hasn't been really too many amazing new things that are coming out. We're gonna start seeing that once the Christmas stuff starts to hit the stores. I started to see a little bit of crinkling here and there. But as far as the fall stuff, some of it is repeats from last year and what is new this year, I've already kind of scoped out and scooped up. And then as far as the Halloween stuff is concerned, I probably have a majority of what I would want to decorate with. So I'm kind of okay on the decor. I did pick up some things. I did find some new things that I'm excited to share with you guys but some of the bigger finds were the food finds i love finding name brand things at the dollar tree and for those of you guys who follow my channel you know i generally try and stress the organic the non-gmo more of the healthier side of things if i can but sometimes when i find things in the dollar tree for a dollar that you would find for three and four and five dollars in the store like sometimes i throw some of that stuff out the window and i have to pick it up so let me show you what I got this week at the DT. So speaking of non-GMO or organic, you still can get those things at the Dollar Tree. And so I did grab the Barilla Pasta. I've showed you guys that they've had this before. This is not a new purchase for me, but I had pasta on my grocery list for this coming up week anyways. So grabbing it at the DT just helped save my grocery bill a little bit towards the end. So I did just get the regular box of spaghetti. I actually got the really thin kind from Trader Joe's last time. And Jacob did not like it. He said it was too thin. So I just got the regular spaghetti and then I got a box of penne so Barilla is a great price and this is always double at Walmart sometimes you can get it on sale in the regular grocery stores but while you're at the Dollar Tree why not a buck only one cake mix or cookie mix kind of thing this time but we got this one once before and when we made it the kids were over the moon about these cookies they were really delicious so i just like having these in the cabinet i've actually been pulling these out ever so often like once a month and making like a box mix and sending it in to with daryl for his employees at work so it's always good just to have one of these in the cabinet and this is the betty crocker ultimate cookie mix in the triple chocolate fudge and it was so delicious so good you guys look what was at the dollar tree so funny story about these vanessa over at lemonade mom she just picked up a brand uh this brand in one of her grocery hauls and she said it different than i've always known so i kind of giggled a little bit and i was going to correct her but everybody always corrects everybody on YouTube, so I stopped myself anyways. But before I went to correct her, I wanted to make sure I was correct, and I was wrong. So I've always called this brand Khrushchev. Uh, I thought it was German, and I thought that's the way that it was pronounced. Someone pronounced it like that to me once before, but it's not. It's called Krusty's, and it really is called Krusty's. Like, if you look it up, it's started by a bunch of women that started this over the crust of bread and that's how they came up with it it was a whole big thing that i ended up reading but i was wrong so vanessa you are right these are called crusties but i've been using this brand for a really long time and i really like it um and this is their biscuit mix in the country style so i love just having like a biscuit mix in the pantry and then this one was the complete buttermilk light and fluffy pancake mix so you can never go wrong it's always good having breakfast for dinner so having these on hand in the pantry is always key for a dollar you guys cereal and cereal and cereal for days and days and days and days now i hate buying this stuff as far as the non-gmo organic kind of thing my kids will not eat that kind of cereal everything i buy from trader joe's everything i try and buy it's garbage it goes to waste but if i buy the crappy cereal it's gone go figure but i mean the cereals you guys that they had at the dollar tree like what oh my goodness i can't even i heard that there was 
cereal floating around but this was crazy when I walked in so I got the peach flavored Cheerios I think Mason's really gonna like these he really likes honey nut Cheerios he calls it the bumblebee cereal so I'm thinking he's really gonna like those and what kid doesn't like these so this is the birthday cake version of cookie crisp so instead of chocolate chip cookies it's the little birthday cake kind so i think they're gonna like that and then this is the ice cream scoops of the cocoa puffs i've been eyeing these in the store for a while i thought jake would like it because he loves neapolitan ice cream so i thought he would like these but i always was hesitant to pick it up because at three and four dollars for jake not to like it i didn't want him to go to waste but for a dollar I'm all about it. So I picked this one up and then this is my favorite score. So I'm really excited about the Girl Scout cookie cereal. So I got this one once before the last time this rolled around the DT and I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. And you guys, it was so good. I finished the whole box by myself. It was good just grabbing a handful as a snack or still in milk as a regular bowl of cereal. So when I saw this, I picked up another one for myself and then Thin Mint is like, I just love mint. I've been liking those little mini Oreo um, mint cookies. I've been buying those in my grocery haul. So when I saw these, I was really curious. And I think the Hubs is going to like these too. I mean, how crazy is that? Five boxes of cereal for $5. Like, I won't have to buy cereal for a really long time. So going shopping this particular week at the DT has really sliced my grocery budget. Like the Claudia Bakery rolls. We love these rolls. They're so delicious. There's six in each one. And because they're so thick, we only use one package per meal. So these work for two separate meals. So how do you beat that? Two bucks for two things of the bakery rolls. And they look like that. And Nicole Burgess, said a way back when and she's so spot on that these things in the oven for like five minutes if you just put a little pad of butter on top and sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder and then stick them in the oven when they come out it's like hot and crispy and warm delicious garlic rolls like they are so good so every time i see them at the dollar tree i gotta scoop them up so not exactly food but still found down the food aisle you guys do you see this these are the little tiny Nestle Pure Lifes, but this is six of them for a dollar. I thought that was a really, really great price, and these are perfect for lunch boxes. Uh, I know that Jake always takes his big bottle of water, but sometimes these are good to just throw in the freezer and then use that as an ice pack, and then it gives him a little bit of extra, like, frozen cold water as opposed to refilling his water bottle which he does every day at the regular school water fountain so i was excited about that plus the kids always love to take water bottles on the go but to get six little bottles of water for a buck i just thought was a great deal next i found the pop tarts now my kids don't eat pop tarts all the time believe it or not there's actually a rule in my house you're only allowed pop tarts on saturdays i know it's kind of crazy but it's like a weekend treat for them one time a week i know that they love them but if i let them eat them all the time they would eat them every day now for the little kids i usually buy organic pop tarts jacobs is the only one i can't really get to eat any of the fruity kind he only likes the chocolate really gross ones i just don't understand but I have not been able to find the organic ones. They've been out at my neighborhood pickup. They've been out at my regular Walmart. I just don't know if they're maybe not going to carry them anymore. But the few places that I regularly shop at, with the exception of Trader Joe's, has not had the organic Pop-Tarts in. But I won't let my kids eat the chocolate ones. I just can't bring myself to eat like a two big chocolate pastries for breakfast. I just can't get around this. But I feel a little bit better with them being unfrosted and more of a fruity one. Still not the greatest, but it's not chocolate. So when I saw the unfrosted strawberry Pop-Tarts in the Dollar Tree, the big 12 pastry pack, there's six packs in each box. So I thought this was a great deal and I couldn't leave it on the shelf. Just a few more food related items and then we're done with the grocery shopping. But I did find another one of those old El Paso can of the traditional refried beans. We use these for tacos all the time. I do like the refried beans from Trader Joe's, but again, I don't get to go there all the time and this is a dollar and I love it. And it's got a box top, so 
good score. Boring, but I needed aluminum foil. I thought this was a good deal. I got my last batch from Brandless, which I will be placing a new order soon, and I have a new tin foil in that order. But for now, while I was at the DT, I scooped one up. I found more cookbooks and I actually could have bought more, but I was a little leery. So someone reached out to me here on YouTube and asked me what of the cookbooks that I have. And so I sent her what ones I had and she said her store had way more and she was going to pick them up and send them to me. So I don't know what she picked up or if she got a chance to send them to me just yet, but I didn't want to leave these ones in the store in case these aren't ones that she sends or she doesn't end up sending them because I really think I can actually make a use out of these. So this is the Quaker oats recipe one, which again, you don't have to use the Quaker ones. I I get the organic oats from Trader Joe's all the time but just the concept of having these recipes that I can use those oats in sound like they're going to be really good because I love anything like that and then we are all about anything Mexican or Spanish related food like that kind of theme food any kind of Tex-Mex that's like our favorite so the whole idea of the Ortega recipes we can again use any salsa but just the fact that it's salsa recipes so two dollars two cookbooks sold sticking with the bread theme after my Claudia bakery rolls but I also picked up some bread at the Dollar Tree every time I pick up bread you guys always comment and say I'm so lucky you don't have that kind of bread at the Dollar Tree and I have to say that my heart goes out to you guys because I don't think I could ever bring myself to pay more than a dollar for a loaf of bread now considering the fact that every single one of my local DTs have some kind of quality name brand bread whether it's the Sara Lee whether it's the nature's own whether it's cobblestone like I get really good quality bread and I'm so spoiled now because I'll never pay more than a dollar so this is just the nature's own 100% um, whole wheat this isn't our favorite but it's the only nature's own loaf bread and this happens to be our favorite brand and we were running low on bread so I scooped that up and then you guys know I need my cobblestone onion rolls. We always have my Arby's sandwiches on the menu and the Arby's sandwiches are not complete without these guys. All right, if I did not have my kids with me yesterday on my second trip, so I went twice to the Dollar Tree. This was two separate trips, one last week and then one yesterday, two separate DTs. And I brought my kids to the big one that I went to yesterday, which is always a disaster. Let me tell you, this shows that there's still faith in humanity in this world because this woman saw me with my traveling circus walking through the Dollar Tree with my kids everywhere and she felt so bad she went and bought them like those giant rainbow lollipops like the ones that are the size of your head on a stick. Yeah, she went and bought each one of them that figuring that they could just lick it walking around the store and give mom some peace which I thought was the absolute sweetest thing like ever in life I loved that um, but I wanted to take pictures of some things I saw that I didn't purchase new decor that I just wasn't in the market for and all the new candles so these were the only old Williamsburg ones I can find and then the other brand of candles they smelled good they had like a fire side like a couple of fall related ones like an apple something or other but I just when it comes to candles at the Dollar Tree I'm a little resistant to anything but old Williamsburg I've had success with some but these are a guaranteed bang for your buck so look at this one you guys let it focus bourbon maple O M G like OMG this thing smells like stinking dynamite this is every essence of fall in this one candle and again i've never dealt with a williamsburg where i haven't had success so i picked up two i probably should have picked up more i'm hoping that these are going to be around for a little while and that more of these old williamsburg like fall scents will start to trickle in but for now i grabbed two and it was a definite bang for my buck so just a few stationary items. You know I can't go to the Dollar Tree without scooping up something stationary, right? So this is just another one of those five by seven notebooks with the 60 sheets on it, but I love the ombre pink 
and I love that it just says love, love, love. I feel like this is super versatile for any kind of gift or teacher gift. It's not like restrictive to a certain saying or flamingo, pineapple, something. I just felt like it was very simple. I love the different shades of pink. So I picked that up for the gift basket. And then these were so neat, I had to grab them. So you know how they had the bins of these? They've had a couple of different things with like the different colored sequins that go back and forth but these are 60 sheets and it's just like a regular lines little notebook but this thing is so therapeutic like not for nothing i picked this up at the first dollar tree and i only had maya with me that time and this is what she played with in the cart i picked this up first and she just sat there forever going and back and forth so i got the pink to the silver and the black to the gold and this will just go in the gift closet or maybe i'll keep them for me i don't know super cute so I did pick this vase up, one of the only like home decor things I got, but I got this because I felt like this was such a great deal. I even put this on my Instagram, but these are like the new like frosted kind of colored vases that they have in there, but they had a bunch of different colors. They had a green, they had this orange, and then they had like a purpley one. Like, so definitely very, very autumn colors, but some of them were just completely plain. And then some of them had the twine and then like this really pretty like metal leaf hanging from it. So I was thinking, why would you buy the regular one when you could buy the DIY one for the dollar? So I pick up the one with Dollar Tree's DIY for the win. Just a cute little decorative tray. I really love this. I actually think it's kind of like a catch-all. They only had this color and then they had, I don't know, another shape or of this kind of decorative tray. It was only these two, um, that shape and that color and then this pineapple in this color. But I feel like this is really perfect if someone likes pineapples to kind of just sit like a jewelry catcher or to throw your change, the things in your pocket that you take out at the end of the day. But if anybody knows, they watch my Dollar Tree hauls, if I buy pineapples, it's going to met. So speaking of gifts, I had really bad guilt last time that I went and found these really cute air fresheners, one that was in lemon and didn't get it for Vanessa. So it was eating away at me. As soon as I saw one hanging from the clip, I grabbed it and this is going in her ever growing lemon package. So this was the only other home decor thing that I got and I am obsessed with these plastic pumpkins you guys. I already bought one orange, one red, and one white one in my last haul and I had to go back and get the other white ones. So I just ripped these pumpkins right off of these clips. So these are meant to like, I guess if you're making a wreath or something, you can like clip them on the wreath going all the way around, which would be super cute too. I'm not that crafty, but I just pulled this off and I, I'll put a picture right here because you guys need to see this. I have a little silver tray that I got from Hobby Lobby and in it I've put like my cotton stems with the little pumpkin stems in a vase and then my lantern that glows and then all of my little pieces, my galvanized pieces that I got from Hobby Lobby inside and then these little pumpkins scattered all around. It is so harvesty and so pretty. It just looks so good on my table that I find myself at night working at the table instead of my desk just because it's like the perfect ambiance right now. So I'm loving these white pumpkins, three for a dollar. I got three more and I think that should be it for my fall decor. So I picked up some nail glue. You know that when I see anything nail related, if it's worth the buy, it goes in my cart. There were zero nails in any stores, which is fine because I'm overloaded with nails. I'm not gonna buy anything unless I see something new, but I'm out of glue, so I scooped that up. But I will show you guys that I have my Dollar Tree manicure for this week that I'm rocking. I love this. Absolutely, absolutely love my nails from the DT, the glue, the nails, anything nail related. It's a score at the Dollar Tree. So there were some school purchase things that you guys don't see here. I already had to give them to Jacob, but he came home with a couple of little extra things that he needed for school, like he needed a bunch of dividers, another binder and some paper so I've already picked that stuff up and gave it to him this is the one thing that he didn't need just yet but when I saw my girlfriend Amber over at Anchor Amber haul this on her channel I was like you know what I am going to get that so this is just a scientific calculator 
but I looked on the back. So on the back, it shows you everything that this scientific calculator does. And then I went and looked up online, like what that Texas instrument one that costs like mega money that you need to buy when you're in high school and you need a scientific calculator. And those things are like mega bucks. And there's only a few things like on the new ones now, like they actually can graph for you, but I don't want it to do the work for him. I just want it to aid in helping him if that's something that they need or require. So for a dollar, I thought this, this scientific calculator does everything he would need it to do. So for a dollar, I picked it up and he's already ready for when his math class starts next semester. All right, guys, and this is it. This is my last thing. I got another one of those bonbons. I haven't seen them for a while, but if I actually see more of these i am going to continue to pick them up just because the kids really like these so these are just more blind bags their stockings are going to be filled with blind bags and i probably could just give my kids blind bags for christmas and they would be happy but inside it says collect me and then it says over a hundred styles so the kids have only gotten like two or three of these a piece and I bought them four stockings and then one day they were really good and I pulled one out for each of them as a reward system. And the kid, they're like little squishies and they carried them around all day. I know they're gonna love them. So as long as I see more, I'm gonna keep scooping them up and I can either give them as rewards or keep saving them for their stockings. All right, guys, so that's it for this week's Dollar Tree haul. This is relatively small for me. Like, if I'm coming in, like, under 30 minutes, then this haul was not big for me at all. And like I said, a huge chunk of it was food. But if I don't find wishlist items, I don't like to just shop to shop or buy things just to buy things. But I thought these food scores were really great, and I love the few home decor things that I scored. And I'm just going to keep my eye out, keep watching my Dollar Tree hauls from all of my friends here on YouTube keep watching with my piece of paper and pen and jotting down if I see anything out there that I will be on the hunt for so make sure you stay tuned for two weeks from today I share a Dollar Tree haul every other Thursday here on the channel and see if there's anything I've scooped up in the next two weeks otherwise thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys all in the next video bye